what's good guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to learn the slide studio inside affinity and this is very simple actually what the slide studio does is it helps you to export parts of your design not the whole design okay so if you're somebody who uses adobe illustrator it just work like the asset export so um you migrate a design and you don't want to export the whole thing but just a part of it the an asset or an element okay whenever you are making design you see you put design elements okay you put text you put shape images and all that together to form your design so in a case you want to export one okay maybe one text okay one logo one um uh, a shape one shape you understand so that's how it works so let me quickly go to the vector studio and create something very simple okay so i'm just going to create this and let me select this shape make a circle change the color to this yellow right and i'll just align everything just like that okay let me bring this one to the top a little bit good so let's say this is a design that i've made okay if i go here a file and i click export i'm going to export the whole thing okay and this is not something i want so um if i want to export let's say just the circle that is when the slice studio comes in so let's quickly come to the slide studio and here we have the interface to be very minimal because we don't do too much we just export parts of um, a design or yeah a project so we have these tools here all these tools are selection tools you use it to select what you want you can click on that make a slice and it is going to select that okay but what i recommend is you select it from the layer okay the layer panel or the export layer panel they are all the same the reason why i'm saying that is that maybe you might slice and select something that you don't want to select okay who knows maybe those elements will be i mean close so to be on the server side just click on any of the thing you want to select inside the layer panel and you are good to go okay i don't want to talk much about this you already know we have the view to just to pan we have the zoom click and drag to zoom in and out like that so now let me show you how to export a part of a design in the slide studio let's say this circle okay i can select it this way now once i select it inside our export layer okay panel you just have to click create slice right so when you hit create slice you are going to have a name on the shape or the asset or the element you have selected now once you've created your slice we have the slice panel okay here so you can see that let me bring it here you can see that we have this shape there okay it means that we have created our slice but i think this concept of slice comes from the pizza slice you see pizza when they slice it you can just take that slice and you you, do, you know just go away and eat <laughs> so i believe that that's where the concept is coming from yeah so now we have our slice okay we can export it but before we do that let's come to the export options okay we have some things here now in the export options we have the presets we have the file formats okay so let's open it now you can see we have a bunch of them we have png we have jpeg we have tiff we have um svg we have eps we have pdf um we, we even have photoshop documents okay psd file 
right so you can just convert the files into any of your choice you understand so let me say i want the png okay good so once i set it to png what i can do is that i think here you can just leave them they are not really um going to affect your output okay so what i can do is i will come to my slice panel now it's either i click on export slice okay or click this little icon any of them it will work so i'll just i can change the name as well okay maybe i want to say s c one just the name hit enter and you are good to go so i'll go ahead and click export slice then whatever i want it to be i'll just click export now we can see sc1 is here let's open it and you see it is a png so in this case you can just create your own um icons so that you can use it in your designs and all that and the quality is very good you see it's very good now let's say um this time around i don't want to export it as um, a png maybe i want a background okay so a jpeg now what you want to do is that because you are exporting the same shape in a different format you don't have to come here don't come to the export options but but i come to the slice and you can see that we have this little icon here okay you just have to open it up okay open it up like that now once you open it you can now change it here okay so you see these are all the properties the names and the number of like um, i think expansion of the shape and all that so you can now change it here so just open this one up and select the one that you want so you have jpeg best quality high quality medium quality low quality so it depends on what you want so um i'm going to go to the best quality because i want the best right and probably it's going to affect the size of the the file or the shape okay so now that i've turned it into jpeg i can go ahead and um i want to change the name because i don't want it to overwrite the one that we've created so this time around we are going to make it sc2 right hit enter you are good to go now i can hit export slice and just save it okay so let's go and see what we have good so you could see that we have it right here with the background this the, the previous one was without a background this one no background but this one background you can see that so that is how you can use the slice studio inside affinity and yeah it's simple as that i hope you enjoyed the video please if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel become part of this community help us build this community because there's going to be a lot of fun here there are a lot of things that we are going to do here so thank you for watching and like i said i'll see you in the next one bye